when we think of priests, oftentimes, like you were saying on Sunday, we think mm. of literally like dodgy priests, mm. um, documentaries on Netflix or long mass. Um, but yet yeah. Jesus calls us um, to be priests and we are priests unto God, um, mm. which is mentioned in the New Testament. Mm. And so, Pastor Nick, let's talk about that a little bit of how does that connect with us today as um, as believers, how yeah. we are priests? Yeah, I, th- I think it's something that we never really talk about. I mean, I can't remember ever actually listen to a sermon where people st- encourage us to be priests because mm-hmm. I, because there's such a negative yeah. connotation <laughs> to it. But when you go and look at the Old Testament and God's requirements of the priests and you then Im- impose it into the New Testament, you realize that what Jesus asks us to be mm-hmm. is actually exactly the same. You yeah. know, he, he asks us to be holy and live holy and committed lives. He asks us to seek his kingdom first. So, so our function mm-hmm. is him and his kingdom. You yeah. know? Um, he asks us to, to not be distracted by our own lives and our own treasures, but to be focused on him and the work he's called us to do. And in essence, that's a lot of what he required from the, what God required from the priests. And yeah. so there's a parallel, a, mm-hmm. a clear parallel between that and what, what we should look like in the New Testament. And I think we forget sometimes mm-hmm. that um, our lifestyle has to fit the purpose God has called us to, sure. you know, and, I, and and that stood out for me as I was preparing, mm-hmm. was that they were called to do this 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 function for God, yeah. which he called that tribe to do, but he asked them as they fulfill yeah. that function to live yeah. holy and distinctly different mm-hmm. lives. And isn't that what Jesus is asking from sure. us in this yeah. world today, yeah. is that we... Uh, take very seriously Mm -hmm. the kingdom of God and uh, extending and growing the kingdom of God through the power of the Holy Spirit. But that with that Mm -hmm. comes a lifestyle that honors God, that is set apart unto God, and is totally distinctly different to the world. Um, And I think that, so for me, the parallel is there. It's exactly the same. And it should actually challenge us. Mm -hmm. We should remind ourselves in a good way that we are priests yeah. in the priesthood of God in this world. Yes, mm. that's so good. And you mentioned this verse um, yesterday, which is 1 Peter 2, 9, which mm. a lot of people do quote. And it's, um, but you are a chosen people, a r- royal priest, a holy mm. nation, God's very own possessions. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God, for he called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. Um, and you just mentioned about being holy and set apart. Mm. And so as we live our lives, mm. what does that practically look like to be holy? and set apart yeah. I think it's 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 simple actually I think that what we have to understand is that everything we do mm-hmm. every decision we make every thought we have yeah um, uh, the way we handle our families the, our marriages our money you know yeah. uh, our social time every part of our lives needs to be governed by the standards that God sets mm-hmm. not the standards that the world set yeah. not the standards that social media set not the standards that our friends set um, so, so that will make us distinctly different because we know yeah. that the Bible tells us to do things in a very different way to anything that the world tells us to do. Yeah. And so, if you want to live a holy life, it's yeah. not it's not necessarily about praying ten hours a day and you know yeah. you know solitude and all those kind of things. It's about being distinctly different mm-hmm. in everything that you do, yeah. which which is aligned to God and God's word. And mm-hmm. that's that's why with that verse, uh, as it ends, it says that we bring the praises and the glory to yes. God as a holy priesthood because people see God they don't see us they see mm. God um, because we're different and yeah. so they see a holy God yeah. through us which isn't that actually is our calling yeah. is that we reflect God to this world yeah. and so they need to see a holiness in mm-hmm. God's people to understand that God is a holy God mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so um, so that's that that's well, I think it's important yeah. for us to be holy, but but it's a pra- it's practical holiness, not yeah. not uh, piousness. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, that's good, and mm. it reminds me of what you said. How that holiness is, um, it it's reflective of Jesus because mm. Jesus is our great high priest, yeah, yeah. um, and so we don't have to kind of get into the motions mm. or have that like Old Testament mentality, mm. um, but rather it just has to reflect yeah. Jesus, Amen. you know. Yeah. Um, and mm. so then another question to you: mm. You mentioned how um, in with the priests in the Old Testament. It was like no days off, right? Mm. They were all priests 24, 24 7. 7. <laughs> um, and maybe someone was thinking yesterday, like, that, that's kind of exhausting. Mm. How do I do that? Yeah. Um, to live a life with no days off, just mm. constantly serving God. Yeah. Well, I, but I, I think it is, you know, when I was preparing, I thought, I wonder if I should say that because mm-hmm. is that going to put people off? <laughs> <laughs> but, the, but the reality is that, um, you know, there's a parable that Jesus uh, gives us, and he says, you know, when you start something, 
mm-hmm. like a farmer. You yeah. put your hand to the plow. Do your assessment first. Yeah. Before you put your hand to the plow, because you can't put your hand to the plow and then turn back or, yeah. or build a bill and get halfway. And and so when you start to see what, what Jesus calls from us, you know, follow me, you know. Yeah. You follow me, you know, um, lay down, we have to lay down our lives, pick up our crosses. Mm. And so you see that Jesus consistently is teaching us that that our, our relationship with him is an, an all or nothing relationship. Yeah. It's, it's, it's either hot yeah. or it's nothing. It yeah. can't be lukewarm, it can't be cold. Sure. And so th- there's, there's a de- definite sense from what Jesus is teaching us mm-hmm. is that our relationship and our calling yeah. And our uh, um, and our life in this world, in this mm-hmm. temporary world, is twenty four seven a reflection of who yeah. God is, and um, and so I know it sounds hectic, <laughs> you know, when you think yeah. about no days off. But the point is, is that what does a day off mean? Yeah. It means what does that mean? I can now live contrary to the word of God. Yeah. I can now, you know, do whatever I want to do, and uh, you know, that's my day off. I mean, that would be crazy. Yes. You know, when you think about, oh, that's a crazy thought because. Why would we have like one day out of seven yeah. where we can just do our own thing <laughs> so and go wild, you know? Yeah. We, so, so, but I think it's a good reminder mm-hmm. of just what God is calling us to, to and yeah. that is to follow him with all our heart, mind, yeah. and soul. Yeah. And th- that means it's 24-7, mm-hmm. 100%, no days yeah. off. Yeah. yeah, That's so good. And so then I think I'll, my final question to you is just what would you then say to the person who's like, Yo, I don't know if it's worth it. Is following Jesus truly worth it? And mm. I mean, you and I both know it really mm. is. But what would you say to that person who's kind of on the fence of like, you know, yeah. yeah. Look, I think uh, it's a good question that because you and I know that following Jesus is not easy. No. Um, and and it's not like you hear from a lot of people, you know, you follow yeah. Jesus and all you, you'll have money and you'll yeah, have wealth millions. and you'll have health and you'll have all these kind of things. And then you start yeah. to follow Jesus and you start to get persecuted <laughs> and, and life is hectic and you don't know. But 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 the thing that we can't explain mm. is the peace, yeah, the relationship with Jesus Christ, which is a is real. You know, when you have a relationship with Him, yes. you can't explain it, but because it sounds weird, because we can't see Him, but but. Uh, he's real, yeah. you know, and I know that I can always go to him and I see him so active in my life yes. through my prayer and I just see him working in my own life. And so for me, mm. I can't say to you, you're going to get tangible benefits. Yeah. But I do know this is that um, there's nothing that can surpass yeah. the peace that you have, that God is always with you, that he'll never leave you, yeah. that he's always through the valleys he's with you. He'll provide all your needs according yeah. to his riches. And eternally, mm. we, we will see him one day and yeah. eternally be in his presence. Sure. The world can't offer that, you yeah. know. And so, uh, yeah, can't, can't, uh, I yeah. wouldn't, can't, you can't <laughs> say to a person, he has a, you know, he yeah. has a tangible benefit. But, um, but it's, it's that relationship mm. that, that you just can't explain yeah. sometimes, you know, yeah. that, that makes it all real. Mm-hmm. And, um, what 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 can the world offer us? Yes. Honestly, you know, I, of, I often drive in my car and I think, what can the world offer me that is ma- better yeah. than this relationship I have with Jesus Christ? There's yeah. absolutely nothing this world can offer me that yeah. can replace that relationship, and I think that's that's what makes it so real yeah. for me. Yeah. That's so good. And mm. so we want to encourage you today. If you're on the fence, mm. um, as you've just heard, following Jesus is truly the best decision mm. you'll ever make. It's not the easiest decision, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, but it's the best decision you'll mm. ever make. And Amen. it doesn't just have that. You you won't just have that peace of God now, mm. but eternally you have salvation mm. and you get to live um, forever yeah. with Jesus in Amen. heaven. Um, and then if you are a believer, if you believe in Jesus, that is amazing. And do not mm. forget that calling that you have on your life Amen. as a priest um, to follow God all the time and to live a holy and set apart life. And then we will see you here next week on the podcast or at church on Sunday. Enjoy your week. Hi there. We hope you got so much value out of this week's eight minutes to chew on. If you would like to listen to the full sermon, you can click the link in the description or you can visit our YouTube channel, The Barn Christian Fellowship. If you would like further resources or maybe you would just like someone to pray with you, pray for you, um, or maybe even someone to chat to, you can visit our website, thebarn.co.za. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, or if you're listening to this through the podcast, you can leave us a review. We'll see you at church, either 8 a.m., 10 a.m. or 5 p.m.